let's talk for a minute here about the war and some of the things that are going on right now that I'm concerned for my brothers and sisters. <sighs> this whole grinding, that's one thing. You know, if we're not grinding for Jesus, what's the point? You know, we're going to build all this wealth and materialistic things that in the end, when Christ comes back, it really will not mean anything. You guys do get that, right? Like, it's not going to mean anything. You know, this um, generational wealth, you know, if it's not blessed by God, who cares? Who wants it? You're building um, things for temporal, temporary. You know, you want to build eternal things. So, does that mean don't look out for your family, don't do anything? No, but you, not even a balance. I'm not even going to say you should have a balance. You should be focusing on the things of God, eternal. Like, do you guys get that when it's over, it's over. You can't go back to, oh, I wish I built, did more things for Christ. You know, and um, God gave me this vision. He showed me how some of you were, um, it's like you're, you went on this um, journey and you, were, you got caught in um, a glacier storm. Like you're out there and it was all white in my dream and you were lost. You started out on like this regular type of journey, a hike somewhere. But what God was showing me in this vision is that you're lost now. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. You don't know who to look to. You know, if you're out there and it's just all white to you, you can't see. You don't know which way to go. And in my dream, I saw that, you know, they started to leave landmarks like, so if anybody came to look for them, there would be signs, you know, and the way this was interpreted to me was that we have got to begin to build altars for the Lord. What does that mean? You've got to begin to send up prayer and praise and call on him to help find, to help get you out of this state of just you got lost. You're so lost. You know, you you allowed the things of the world, you know, to seep in. And it seeped in so much that now you just have no idea of what's right, what's wrong, what I should be doing, where I should be going. And he even likened it unto the kids, the children in um, the wilderness where... It was a, ooh, details, four-day journey, I believe. It was less than a week's journey that took them 40 years. Why? Because they were disobedient. When you do a little disobedient, you get pulled this way. A little bit more, a little bit more. And before you know it, you scratch your head wondering, where was I supposed to be? Where was I going? What's the plan? So you got to begin now to seek God and and send up the signs to him. Let him know that you're seeking him, that you're lost. You know, we can't just jump back in. Oh, yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm saved. Yes, Lord. I know God. Help me, Lord. You know, when you get lost, you know, sometimes it's that journey to get back. You know, you were on your way to California and you went off to Atlanta, you know, and now you got to get back on the right path. You got to get back. You know, you were on the right path, going to school, seeking the things of God, being blessed, and then you... um change careers because someone else's career was different and better. You 
thought, oh, let me change my career. Or you got married, got pregnant, got a new job, and, and, and just came off of your track. You know, as you begin to send up the signals that I'm lost, Lord, guide me, lead me, you know, you begin to seek him. Seek him where he's, he's leading. You look for him where he can be found to help get you back on track because there's no coach, no life coach that can put you back on your godly track. I'm sorry. There's no counselor. There's no therapist. You know, do they have a place? Yes. I'm not saying they don't have a place, but let me tell you, when it's God's call for you and where you're supposed to be, baby, hey, he's the only one that's going to put you back on track. Okay? Begin, begin to um, repent. Let them know, hey, I messed up. I'm wrong. You know, and spend that quality time. Send up the smoke signals to him. You got to spend that time, baby. You can't just bring him along with you. Is about his will and his purpose. So you got to get in line with him. Stop worrying about your time for things that you want. 